Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today we'll be setting up leaderboards for our games. In this video we'll mainly just focus on how to set it up and then in other videos we'll learn how we can add points to the leaderboards. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is come over to the Explorer menu and look for the section that says Server Script Service and go ahead and press the plus sign next to it. We're going to be adding a script into this section and before we start writing the code, we're going to go ahead and rename the script. So right click and press rename. Now you're going to type Player Setup. After that, go ahead and delete the print Hello World message and now we're going to go ahead and start writing our code. So the first thing we're going to do is make a function. So we're going to say local function. And this is going to be the name of the function is going to be on player join. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put the word player. Next, we're going to make a variable called leader stats. This is going to be equal to instance dot new. And inside the parentheses, we're going to put folder. So this is just creating a new folder where we're going to store the information. Next, we're going to say leader stats dot name. This is going to be equal to leader stats. Okay. Next, we're going to say leader stats dot parent. This is going to be equal to player. So this is assigns the leader stats to the particular player that joined the game. So for each player that joins, it'll create a new folder that stores that player's information. After that, we're going to say local. And let's go ahead and do points. This is going to be equal to instance dot new. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put int value. On the next line, we're going to say points dot name and this is going to be equal to points and then points dot value is going to be equal to and this is where you're going to put the initial value so I'm going to put 50 for now but we'll go back and change these later on the last thing we're going to do is say points dot parent is equal to leader stats okay at the very end we're going to say game dot players dot player added and then connect and then the name of our function that we created so on player join so very quickly just to go through this the first part of our function is making a folder where we'll store the information for the player this section down here is the points value so I'm saying the points is equal to the name points I'm setting the initial value to 50 and then this last section down here Whenever a player joins the game, it's going to run this function and create a new section with the player's name and also a section for their points. So let's go ahead and run our code and see how this looks. Okay, so now I'm back in the game. I see I have leaderboards now. It displays the name of my character and also a section where it has the points. So what we'll do now is we'll just go back and change some of the options. So if you don't want it to say points, but maybe something different, I'll show you where you can change that. So if you go back to your script here, if you want to change the points to something else, all you have to do is right here for points.name, you can just choose another name. So let's say, for example, if my game was using gold instead, I can put gold here, and then it'll change the name from points to gold. Uh, you can also change each of these variables to gold if you want to, but it's not necessary. So the only part that you have to change to change the name is the section in the quotation marks. So now let's go back to the game and see how it's updated. Okay, so we're back in the game. Now, instead of saying points up here, it says gold. If you want to change this value right here, if we go back to our script, under the section that says points.value, if you want to start them off with zero points, you can just change that number to zero there, and then let's go ahead and run our game, and we can see the changes. Okay, so back in the game. So now I see that my player starts with zero gold or zero points. If we want to add another section, so let's say we want gold and maybe, let's say diamonds, 
we can just add another section right here and I'll show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and go back to the code. Okay, so once you're back on the code, what you want to do to add a new section is we can just copy these lines right here. Paste them down below. And this time we're going to do diamonds, so I'm just going to change each of these to diamonds. I'm going to change the name of it to diamond. And then the last two. And make sure I see diamonds for each of them. Let's just change it to regular diamond, so no S. Okay, and let's go ahead and give the player 10 diamonds to start with. All right, let's go ahead and run our game and see what it looks like. Okay, back in the game. So now I see that I have two sections. I have a gold section and a diamond section. Okay, so that's about it for this tutorial. In the other videos coming up, we'll be learning how we can either click a button to add points to our different points here, or maybe we can touch something like a brick and add points to it. But those will be in the later videos. If you have any questions, just leave those in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned for the next one.